The victory for the far-right Alternative for Germany, or AFD, party in the Thuringia state election earlier this month was partly driven by a surging youth vote. More than a third of young people, almost 40 percent of 18 to 29 year olds, going and voting for the AfD. In contrast, only one in five voters over 70 years old chose the AfD. The party is hoping to replicate its victory in the Brandenburg state election on September 22nd with the help of young voters. Other parties probably expected that the AfD is only a party for old people and that young people don't vote for the AfD. That is exactly wrong. What's driving the popularity of the far right among younger people? Immigration appears to be a factor. It's a part of the country that is poorer than the other parts, that is less ethnically diverse and therefore reacts more to the new diversity than, than, you know, than Berlin does or, or other parts of Germany. Some people have argued that, that it's concerns about the war in Ukraine. Other people have argued that it's a response to COVID or a response to, to the housing crisis. The trend among youth voters is not limited to Germany. In June's European elections, the far-right National Rally was the most popular party among 18 to 34-year-olds in France, with 32% of the vote, much higher than for over 65s. National Rally's 28-year-old president, Jordan Bardella, has 1.6 million followers on TikTok, a social media platform popular among young voters, notes Ansel. TikTok is short videos that uh, aim to shock the skill that populist parties have in making videos and finding political moments that are short, sharp and shocking to get people excited about politics. A study by Spain's El País newspaper suggests that one quarter of Spanish men aged 18 to 26, so-called Generation Z, believes that in some circumstances authoritarianism may be preferable to democracy. Among the so-called baby boomer generation aged 59 and over, the figure is less than 10 percent. The figure was also lower among female voters. You can see this huge gender gap among the under 30s opening up in all countries. It remains to be seen whether such trends among young voters will be replicated in the United States in November's presidential election, although recent polls suggest the Democrats Kamala Harris has increased support among younger voters. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.